everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's your usual host, Drongo Cares of the Black Bulls Night Squad at Twitch.tv. And tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow is the day, baby. Yes, that's right. We're hosting an annual event in our little town of Cleveland, Tennessee at Dicehead Games and Comics. And we call it King of the Hill Tournament. We couldn't really come up with something more flashy than that. I just decided to call it King of the Hill Tournament. Not to confuse it with King of the Hill Format. It is not a format. It is just the name of the tournament. The reason why it's the name of the tournament is because we're fighting for the top of the hill to see who's the best in the area. Now, so we will be actually having the event. Uh, we have close to about 15 people who are supposed to show up this year. Um, we have tons of prizes. We're going to be raffling off stuff all day during the event. We're going to be having people playing in the tournament for the top position to get the top four mats. First place mat with Imperial Dramon. Second place mat with Mastermon. Third place mat with Black War Greymon. And fourth place with Flame Dramon mat. It's absolutely outstanding. We had a great time. This mat, this is a, a tournament that I plan on hosting during the summer of every year. We had to wait until fall this year due to unforeseen circumstances and issues at the home but everything's good now and everything's all taken care of moving on uh we will be handing out uh we got some uh boxes of dragon shields and we got some deck boxes from boulder if any of you have ever tested out the boulder deck boxes they're outstanding i've seen people stand on top of these with their decks in them they're precious expensive decks they put them in them and they put it to the test and they stood on top of it both legs all their weight, didn't even crack it. I was like, man, those things are indestructible. They're awesome. So, without further ado, we're going to cut right on over, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, who won deck profile and a couple other things as well. Check out Dicehead Games and Comics at 200 Paul Huff Parkway in beautiful Cleveland, Tennessee. Or maybe Stars and Slabs if you're into the more sports-heavy style stores at 2520 Street. And in Georgia, we have Battlegrounds Games and Comics. Just tell them drum they you. I don't know what I have a All right, chances. everybody. So the tournament is now over. King of the Hill, Season 1, Year 1. Beautiful, beautiful. First place here, Logan. How you feeling about today? Good, man. Feeling good? Feeling good? Didn't lose it all. Didn't lose it all. Yeah, he was on a roll. It was on a roll. It was pretty crazy. So that was our first place. Any notes? Metal Guru Month Broken. Metal Guru Month Broken. All right. All right. Second place. Second place. Alex and Pye. Any notes on today? What are you feeling? Logan. He destroyed me. He and it destroyed hurt my feelings. But I got second place. So. Uh, same. It worked out. He knows Black. the pain. Uh, I know the pain. I know the pain. Call off the spot. Boy, where'd you get? Top three. Top Third place, baby. Third place. Any notes? Uh, I played Mother. I enjoyed Mother. Uh, Logan was definitely the hardest matchup. I thought Metal was free, but it's not. Yeah. It's yeah. All right. Hey. And, of course, our, our top four here. Resident Giant, Sorry. top four. Let's play in Rise and Shine. Uh, bricking sucks. Don't play red. Bricking sucks. Don't play red. <laughs> That's a fair point. I'm playing red black this season. Anyways, so we had a great turnout. As you can see here, we had a huge crew show up today, and we had some spectators. Uh, we did some commentators on the TikTok channel. We really blew it up today, and it was absolutely awesome. Uh, stay tuned. Got a little special prize for you. Team OG Dustin is all about that hygiene. You want to smell good? Check out Buff City Soap, where they got a great selection of homemade soaps in the store, where they make it. Hey, everybody. Here's first place from King of the Hill Tournament here at Dice Head Games and Comics in Cleveland, Tennessee. And Logan, and uh, he played uh, Metal Guru Ramon. All righty, and so we're going to do the deck profile. And you can just kind of start with however you feel comfortable with. Okay. Eggs, four Sunamon, just generic. They're playing a bunch of Gururumon, so you need the DP buffs. Uh, some people play the fifth egg of the Dimmy Demon, but I think it just kind of ruins your consistency because sometimes you don't have the eight cards. Um, four of the BT5 Gabumon, this searches every Gururumon in the deck. Um, and I mean, it's a Gururumon, or it's a Gabumon that can go under Gov1X. Not like it matters, that. It so also searches out Omnimon, which is big, unless if you're uh, looking for 
a bless to finish the game. Right? Uh, three DP boost Gabumon. This one's kind of the worst one in the deck, but in some matchups where you can't reach the DP thresholds and you're worried about dying in security and losing a, a uh, protection, it can help. Right? Uh, four Gabu X. It searches out more Garurumons, just the same thing as that before. It also searches out X Antibody, which is huge and enables a lot of your combos. Goes on top of all your Gabumons for zero. Um, and then also does the search, which is huge. Uh, Madoki Beta, playing this as a one of, it's really good in the mirror because uh, Hammer Sparks don't activate. Um, it's playing this out, if you can play it out before your checks to prevent Hammer Sparks insecurity, it's huge. X Antibody insecurity prevents that memory gain. Um, it's mostly there for uh, Alphamon since they gain memory off of Digivolving onto their same guys. Didn't really come up today. Oh, it came up in one matchup in the mirror. All right, all right. Uh, promo Gururumon, run four of this uh, when attacking. If this Gururuma, if this Digimon has Gururumon in his name, draw one. Um, it's not once per turn. You draw through your whole deck with this. It's what makes the deck work, honestly. Really helps you get to that eight card threshold to get all your DP buffs and your security attack plus one. Uh, two of the BC5 Gururumon, sometimes you get choked to, uh, like, say you get put to three memory and you only have a rookie. You did you all for this uh, on top of your Gabu for one, hammer spark back up to three, and you instantly get to your uh, your five, which is what en enables everything. It gives a all turns DP buff, um, which kind of makes your guy harder to delete. Um, uh, it makes you go up to 7k on your 5, so you avoid Crimson Blaze and some stuff like that. But most of the time you're going to want to use the other Gururumon. Four Gururumon X, this is the reason you're playing all the Gururumons. It uh, goes on top of a Gururumon for zero, activates your Cool Boys, gives you the combat protection, where you uh, take out two of the same level Digimon to prevent deletion by combat. Uh, this is what, let you, what lets you do your uh, swings with your five and your security really freely. You don't really care if you die in security. You just pop two sources out and keep swinging. Right, right. Gets searched off Cool Boy and all of the uh, the Gabus. For uh, the second best card in the deck, Wear Gurumon. This is the promo as well. Um, <coughs> if you have Gurumon in sources, you get to unsuspend it once per turn when attacking. Um, a lot of the times you're going to go into uh, Wear X on top of it and instantly gain that security attack plus one once you get that eight card threshold. Um, this card's going to be starting off all your big turns. You're going to want to go into this. Um, if you can go into it in raising, if you have enough time, that's usually what you want to do. But a lot of the times I was digivolving on top of uh, a four, bring out of raising and then swinging with this. That security attack plus one lets you do a lot of damage and uh, allows your OTK with uh, Wear X. You go on top of the Wear Groom on here, um, or if you have X Antibody, you can go over a four. Um, allows you to bounce a level four, which is huge in the um, more low to the ground matchups like Deep Brigade and stuff like that. Usually it only bounces a searcher. Um, there was a Dark Nightmon player here. Um, if I win against them, this would be huge versus them because it allows me to bounce their stuff and they don't get to keep their stuff. <coughs> Big thing is it allows you to unsuspend, keep swinging, and activates your security plus one. Um, I'm going to one up Sagittarius mode. Extra protection sometimes is good. Um, a lot of the times when you don't have your wear X and you, after you do the one swing on suspend, you can go on top of it with this guy, instantly get your two checks. And um, this is huge in the, um, the D Brigade matchup because they're playing a shit ton of level threes and you're bouncing two of them at once if you have a tamer, which you usually do. You usually have a cool play. play. Yeah, yeah. I did play against D Brigade today. Didn't come up. It was just insecurity, but I won anyway, so it's okay. Play two uh, EX1 Metal Gururumons. Uh, this wasn't really a useful card today. Um, the bot deck when attacking, bot decking on, on deletion Digimon is huge in the Mastodon matchups and other cards like that. It's War Defeat. Um, usually the slower matchups. And you gain a memory for every four cards in hand, which usually helps in the slower matchups where you've drawn maybe uh, like 12 cards. Or if you've gotten a 16, um, you can do it for free. But I don't think I played this card at least once. Today. But the, the lower cost Evo is usually better than the BT1 for Metal Guru. Uh, three of the the reason you're playing the deck, Metal Guru on X, uh, me unsuspends on Digivolving, goes on top of this guy for one cost, and then when you unsuspend, if you have X Antibody or this guy in sources, bounces the lowest level. Um, 
I think I bounced some decent stuff today in the mirror. I bounced uh, their metal groom on like one or two times. Um, just an insane card. It's also a blocker, so it helped in the low to ground matchups like Beaver Brigade. Uh, one Blitz Omnilon. This is basically just to finish the game after you've done your swings. And if you left him with zero security, you can do this pass turn and swing for, swing for game. Um, in the mirror, this was huge, leaving this on board. Um, this this states that this Digimon gains blocker, so Omnimon keeps blocker. And if you have two sixes, they have to bounce your guy... They have to try to bounce your guy three times for it actually to bounce in the mirror because he has that uh, bounce protection. So if you get this out and just keep it on board, it's really hard for a Metal Guru to deal with it. Right, right. For a Blue Memory Boost, this card searches out basically everything except on one in your Tamers and in, in your deck. Um, I'm not running. I'm only running one Memory Tamer, one Davis. So this is your pseudo memory. Um, if you run into a memory blocker, it's kind of a nightmare, but you do have a lot of ways to get rid of their memory, memory blockers with your uh, Werger, Monex, and your Sagittarius mode, so you're not really that worried. Um, you basically just want to see your pieces as quick as possible, get into your 5, get into your 6, um, and kill them super quick. You don't feel bad at all hitting those in your opening hand. Uh, 3 Hammer Sparks, um, this makes your, your turns a lot smoother. You can, um, if you get choked to two, you can go into your five anyway. Like I said, just playing one hammer spark. These are nightmares in security. Alphamon can't do anything. They usually end their plays really smoothly on zero or one memory. And if this passes turn and you, they didn't clear your stuff, or you have a rookie and, or a four in raids, and you can basically kill them before they get to uh, swing all their checks with, uh, or you can. Mm -hmm. Two of X anybody. If you don't get your uh, perfect line, um, this kind of allows you to get the X antibody effects. Um, tucking this under the promo five and swinging and going into your wear X is kind of huge. It allows you to unsuspend and um, you, you swing unsuspended and you're swinging for two checks, which is huge. Um, basically, and it's grabbed off uh, Gabu X and Cool Boy, so it's really easy to search out. One of Ice Wall, this card is absolutely broken. Uh, one me the mirror match. Uh, it's a hammer sparking security and one of the most like insane cards for one mana. Um, whenever you, um, whenever they attack, they lose two memory. It makes all this OTK stuff really hard. Like I said, Alpha Mon ends on zero. Where Guru Mon, they really want to swing at zero, on zero. Um, it makes everything really awkward because they swing a bunch of times, and that happened a lot in the mirror. Uh, one of Davis. Sometimes you you want to play memory chamber. Sometimes you have bad hands. This does search out um, most pieces in the deck. Um, a lot of the times I won't be playing this if I have it in hand and don't have anything else. It's okay because he prevents choking. But um, a lot of times you don't really have memory problems in this deck. So he he's basically just the one. And three cool boy. This searches out all the X pieces in the deck along with X antibody and allows you. He's your pseudo memory chamber. He's the one that gains you memory and draws you cards, filters through your whole deck. It's two cost. Never felt bad um, playing this turn one, um, and just getting like 12, 16 cards in hand, just always having a play, never feeling bad about any turn ever, uh, Cool Boy is insane. And that is it. Alrighty, man. Well, thank you for coming out and playing. Alright, thanks. Digimon are the champions. Digimon, Digimon are the champions.